Good morning. We have been warning our subscribers about how the U.S. bond markets will struggle to absorb all the new debt issuance, all the U.S. government borrowing. And it's going to be a lot worse than most people think because foreign buyers are leaving the market and the credit markets have not fully priced in yet the impact that's going to have. The Chinese are getting out of the U.S. bond markets and they're not being quiet about it. The Japanese are typically big buyers historically, but they're running trade deficits now instead of surpluses. So they don't have surplus new capital to invest. Whatever buying they're doing will mainly be rolling over their existing positions. The Federal Reserve is also not buying new treasuries. They're not exactly selling either, but they're letting their portfolio of bonds mature $60 billion or so per month. What that means is that we Americans are going to be doing the buying. And with these huge buyers out of the market, the yields are going to go higher. The borrowing costs for the U.S. government and for everyone else are going to go much higher. There were two Treasury debt auctions yesterday. One was for Treasury bills with a two-year maturity. The other auction was for Treasury notes that will mature in five years from now. Both were ugly, as we see here. And let's start with the two-year foreign demand tumbles. The high yield on the two-year auction was 4.917. That's the highest since last October. The bid to cover is an important metric too for another time. And this is the worst in almost four years. So this auction for two-year bills was for $69 billion. And this is the chart that shows what we're describing with the foreign buyers. Indirect buyers are usually foreign central banks or foreigners who are using third-party proxies to buy U.S. Treasury bonds. So we watch that internal metric very carefully to see what foreigners think of the U.S. bond market. The indirect awards are falling fast, dropping 9% since just last month. Directs awarded 25.5. Directs are U.S.-based institutions. So these are banks, insurance companies, bond funds, pensions. So the dealers, the traders that manage the auction, had to step in and buy 16% of all these bonds. And then they'll try to sell them in the secondary market. Here is the historical data on the two-year treasury, spiking from barely above zero not long ago to where we are now, highest in decades. Later in the day was another auction of five-year bonds, notes. Uh, indirects here are 65%. Directs were down since last month and the dealers needed to step in again. But here is a good question. Why are foreign buyers more willing to buy five-year treasury debt instead of the two-year? And the answer is that a lot more of this buying is for foreign pension funds. Indirects here are still falling and China almost surely wasn't around to be doing any of the buying in this auction either. But European and Japanese bond funds and pensions still need to do a lot of buying somewhere. And the yields in the United States are much higher than almost anywhere else. They can use the U.S. dollar cash flow from these investments. And the dollar is much more valuable abroad, ironically, than in the U.S. Because there's high inflation in the U.S. So for foreign pensions from the most friendly countries, the five-year treasuries are still the best fixed income investments they can get with low risk. Inflation risk isn't a problem for them, and neither is reinvestment risk with their aging populations. Ugly, ugly. We will be seeing that word a lot in the headlines in the next few years. Ugly auction as foreign demand tumbles. We need to get used to that. This is Westlake in Hangzhou. Be good. I pray for courage and strength to face temptation and trials. May we be powerless to overcome. Thanks.